Okay, guys. So my husband bought this cereal because it was like $6 a box regularly and it was on the clearance rack for like a dollar. So he bought like six boxes, whatever they had left on the clearance rack. And then he didn't eat it because he said it didn't taste good. And that's probably the reason why no sugar added, which he didn't notice that. So it's like eating cardboard, he said, with the occasional hard um, raisin. So I'm not going to let this go to waste because he doesn't want to eat it. Um, and it expires tomorrow. So I'm going to open all the boxes and I'm going to put the cereal in the freezer. But I am going to use it to make crust. So I took two cups of this and I ground it up in my processor. And now I'm going to add a quarter cup of sugar. It was actually a little less because that's all the sugar I have left. And I'm going to add, um, I'm just going to mix this all in. I guess it's like making a graham cracker crust, but using cereal. Okay, so this is done. This has a cup and a half of ground up cereal. It's a cup and a half after it's ground up. And then I put a quarter cup of sugar and a half cup of butter. So now, kind of like a graham cracker crust, but using cereal that was gonna get tossed because nobody wants to eat it. So I'm turning it into something else. Okay, so now, I'm gonna press this down. I, believe it or not, do not have a pie dish. So I am using a spring pan because it's what I have. And I put a piece of parchment paper on the bottom so that this doesn't stick, even though I don't think it will. And then I could slide this off onto um, one of those glass baking display things on the counter once it's baked so we can cut it without damaging my pan. Okay, so I'm pressing this down and we're just making a little bit of a crust here. Okay, get all this extra. And now we're gonna bake this in the oven at 350 for 10 minutes, okay? First thing I'm doing, I am cooking the crust in my toaster oven because it's 90 degrees out and I don't feel like heating up my kitchen. Um, so I'm using my toaster oven to bake the crust at 350 for 10 minutes. Okay, so I just took this out of the toaster oven. So I'm gonna let this cool down while the pudding sets up in the fridge and then we'll assemble the pie. It does cool down and it's nice and firm. So now I'm gonna put the chocolate pudding in there. There we go. All right. Okay guys, so now I'm going to take my instant chocolate pudding. That's just literally a box of jello pudding with milk. I used skim milk, but you can use any milk you want. Just move this out evenly, just like that. And we're gonna sprinkle these all around just like this. Now we're gonna take this and put it in the freezer for about 20 minutes. Okay, so the bad news is that as I was taking the pie um, out of the spring form, the pan, I dropped the bottom of the pan, the bottom part, and the chocolate pudding pie went everywhere, the crust, it was a mess. So I scooped up the rest of the pudding out of the pan and I put it in little individual cups and I just broke up the crust and crumbled it on top. I mean, what else could I do? Um, but I still wanna show you the crust that, made, that I made from the cereal. Because if you look at this, the crust is delicious. Look at that. It's like soft and chewy with a little bit of a crispiness to it. It tastes really good. It's almost like a graham cracker crust. So I will make it again to show you guys, but you can use almost any cereal that you bought that you don't like. 
and just turn it into a crust. So good. Thanks for watching.